Meet the beasts. <laughs> Around every corner in the Ashmolean, you'll find animals watching you. Hello. We've got loads and loads of pigs. Pigs with big pig energy. Grumpy piggy banks and cheerful piggy banks. A weird pig with a person's face and a pig you can drink out of. There are pigs and pugs. And there's a special pug. There's a massive marble slab inscribed with a poem for a dead pug called Pug. The Countess of Pomfret memorialized pug like a dead Roman. We've got animals which are not what they seem. What do you reckon this worried silver lion is hiding? A watch in his bum. What about this owl with eyes made of garnets? Pop its head off and it becomes a drinking cup. Think this turtle looks harmless? It's the hand guard of a deadly samurai sword. Do you see a boar's head? It's actually a soup tureen. And we've got animals you can wear. These are Netsuke. Japanese toggles used to fasten a little container called an inro to the sash of a kimono. Each of these tiny creatures is hardly longer than your thumb. We've even got made up animals. Pre-Raphaelite artist Edward Byrne Jones invented creatures to delight his French children. Say hello to the Flumbudge, the Wally Pug, and the Snuffle Buster. And here's an imaginary menagerie from Mughal, India. What names would you give these curious critters? So come and give the Ashmolean's beasts a visit. But watch out for the Serpapods. <laughs> <laughs>